Hi guys, as you can see, I am not filming this at home. I've been having some difficult past few months in terms of my job and I think I just wanted to make a video just so that I express what my expectation was in terms of getting into having a job in accounting and what the reality is. Now there are a few reasons why I'm doing this and it's not just because I had some bad months but first of all it's because transparency. In this channel we talk about getting a job as an accountant and how much I earn as an accountant however I don't want just to paint a positive picture of what a job in accounting can be so that you know what the reality daily reality of the job is like and I don't think it's only just helpful for people who wants to get into accounting my experience of course is unique and therefore if you are currently an accountant listening to what I'm saying now you might then have some sort of benchmark to compare my career experience with yours and then make you think whether the industry or the company that you're staying is suitable for you and if you're new here my name is Poppy and I work as an accountant in the UK I started this career from ground up when I didn't really have any accounting experience and in this channel I talk a lot about well various things really but mainly career money financial freedom and self-development all the things that are important to many of us so first let's get this one out of the way let's address the elephant in the room that accountants are boring <laughs> i don't know where this perception towards accountants actually came from but you know there are maybe certain truth into it so first of all let's talk about accountant as a group of people in general i can tell you that accountants that i've worked with are the most fun people that i have ever worked with and it's really weird to be saying that because that's just not a public perception of accountants at all. I used to work in accounting practice and I have to say I had the wildest time there. The mentality was work hard but also play really hard. On some Fridays we would finish a bit early, go down to a pub for drinks and the company would pay for it. So it was really an environment where okay yeah you work really hard but then after work hours when we get together they party really really hard so much so that every Friday I would be at the pub and most of the time I wouldn't come back home anytime before 8 o'clock in the evening on the Friday so that's what the life was now I kind of shifted my career from being in accounting practice to industry now where I just work for a normal company currently I work for a mobile game company and I can say that for my own personal experience this still holds true because the times obviously we don't go into work very much anymore but every time we go into the office it's always finance people who sort of organize the drinks maybe it could be because we deal with a lot of stress a lot of numbers and we just want to wind down by socializing I don't know what it is but the perception that accountants are just boring as people is just so wrong now on another hand if we talk about the work of accountants is the work boring now I think in every profession there are always going to be boring side of the job that you don't really want to do a bit of admin a bit of maintenance here and there however I would say that especially as accountants when you are at a very junior level your job will be so mundane I think that's the word is it mundane mundane there you go your job will be so mundane this may involve posting invoices issuing invoices bank reconciliations posting transactions from the bank those sort of things so I think at a junior level it's really not fun however if you progress into a more senior level like what I am now I am a senior management accountant you need to have a wider knowledge knowledge in terms of what is going on currently and also what is going on in the company numbers just don't mean just numbers anymore numbers represent something and I think that it's just much more fun and of course on a day-to-day -day basis even in my position as a senior management accountant or even if you are a finance director you are still going to have you know these little tasks that you think is so boring that you don't want to do and I think it just applies to every occupation patience really so the sun is rising by the way so I'm just gonna grab my camera and we'll go out and we'll talk about this a little bit more
KPMG office there. <laughs> That's just America in general, right? Everything is just a bit grander and bigger comparing to the UK. Now, the next expectation that I had being an accountant was that the job is a nine to five job and that just could not be further from the truth. What I come to realize is that a job in accounting, especially being an accountant, the hours can be really, really long, especially when it comes to uh, the first week of the month, which is um, the weeks after the previous month end and year end. So normally companies will have December year end, so you January and February and potentially March is going to be super, super busy. And that's why I'm kind of away now on a holiday because um, in the past few months I've just been I'm still working at home and I've just been sitting there for 10 hours 12 hours um, not having time for lunch you know and I just I just got really exhausted and I'm not saying in any way that I work more hours than any of us you know some of you might work more hours than me and some of you might work less it is what it is you know being an accountant it comes with the hours and of course you might not have to work long hours for every single day of the month however there are definitely certain days weeks and months that you are going to be busier than others especially especially when it comes to month-end, quarter-end and year-end. I also get this a lot to while when I tell people that I work as an accountant and they said, oh, you must be good with numbers, but that's not really the case. I mean, of course, we work with numbers and we look at numbers all day long, but it doesn't really necessarily mean I'm good with numbers. If by good with numbers, you mean that, you know, I, cal I can calculate everything on the top of my head and no. These days, you just need to be really, really good working with Excel spreadsheets. So being an accountant, you don't really need to you know particularly be good with numbers I mean you need to somehow like numbers because that's what you are going to be seeing all days you know just loads of numbers everywhere but you need to be good at Excel spreadsheet and that's kind of like that's a must <laughs> Now the next one is that being an accountant I thought you earn loads of money and that's just not true. I think in the UK the accountant salary are pretty okay. I mean I live in London and uh, it's fine. However, it's nothing impressive. The thing is if you think about the amount of hours that you put in especially at the month end which I just mentioned I just don't think it works out a lot per hours at all. So if you are junior level, especially or middle level in your career, in accounting career, then you're actually not earning much at all. I can't really say the same about the salary over here in the US because I don't know, but I would assume it's probably a bit higher than the UK salary because in general, the US salary is much higher in the UK in any profession anyway. So yeah, that's the reality of it is that accountants actually don't really earn good money and which leads me into my next point is that in order to earn a lot of money with your accounting profession I think you will need to do something else a lot of people think that you if you have an accounting career or if you're trained as an accountant then you are going to have to be an accountant forever and that's just doesn't have to be the case of course you can be an accountant for the rest of your life and that's fine if that's what you want to do no judgment from me however I think if you're talking in terms of money and if you want to earn pretty good money then at some point you are going to have to do something else either be progressing into finance director or head of finance and even that you know FD level or head of finance you are probably looking at earning around 100k a year and that will be the case until you get into CFO level you know with CFO level the money varies uh, massively depending on the company that you work for the bigger company the more complex um, the system is and the more complex the business is 
is then of course the more money that you'll be earning i'll see you in the next video have a good day Let's hope.